So, Dira, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, I'm uh, Sudhir Sandarwan Jai Singh. Huh? Uh, I'm uh, from Kitalugala. Uh, I went to uh, Kalyani Mahavidyalaya uh, back uh, when I was a child uh, until uh, the scholarships. And then after I uh, passed the scholarships, I moved on to uh, Nalanda College, Kalambo, uh, where I studied until uh, the A levels. Uh, and after that, I started uh, at Java Institute. Uh, and now I'm uh, currently I'm working at uh, Epic Lanka as a mobile developer. So, uh, can you tell me about uh, the reasons? Like, why did you choose software engineering as your field? It, it has always been kind of my thing uh, since uh, like childhood. Uh, ever since uh, we got our first computer, I've been uh, always interested in uh, stuff like this, uh, the, all the technical stuff. Uh, and uh, I was also, uh, when, when I was finished the A-levels, I was uh, kind of uh, torn between uh, this and uh, a Korean law, uh, becoming a lawyer, and uh, ultimately I chose this one because uh, I think this was the right uh, path for me. Since uh, I had uh, more of an attachment to it uh, since uh, the childhood, and uh, so I, uh, have... I saw myself uh, going forward in an uh, interesting direction. So, uh, how did you learn about the Java Institute? Uh, well, I learned it from uh, uh, multiple sources uh, back when I was uh, done with the A-levels and I was looking for uh, a ways to continue my education. I first heard about it from some of my friends and then I did a little bit of research and uh, I discovered uh, the website and uh, I saw that there was also a scholarship program which I applied for. I passed the scholarship and uh, there was a, a special offer for me uh, for the beginning year. So. Uh... What certifications have you uh, completed at the uh, up to now? I have completed uh, the SQA qualifications up to uh, level nine, and uh, I have also completed the, the top up degree at the Birmingham City University. What can you tell me about your um, your view on the teaching methodology at the Java Institute? Uh, yeah, I think it's really good. I think it's really interesting. There's a lot of education involved. Uh, there's a lot of time involved, there's a lot of planning involved and uh, the content is always uh, well thought out and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's really very current and uh, it really prepares you for what's uh, lying ahead. So uh, tell me about what you're doing at the moment. Uh, are you uh, working and what kind of uh, projects are you involved in at the moment? Uh, I'm working at uh, Epic Lanka. Mm -hmm. I've been, uh, I've, I joined in as a trainee. My training period ends at the end of this month. Uh, I'm working uh, as a mobile developer. I'm uh, mostly working with uh, React Native in, uh, as, uh, in terms of technology, React Native and Native Android. Currently, I'm involved in uh, some of the e-government projects uh, that are going on in the company. So, uh, what was your experience like as a BCU undergraduate? <clears throat> Uh, it was a very pleasant experience. I, I was interested. I was uh, intrigued to be uh, have uh, another level of qualifications uh, to my name, and uh, I thought BCU was a well reputed uh, institution, and uh, it uh, fit my needs uh, very well. So, uh, what were the main, uh, the three main Viva projects that you did uh, as an undergraduate? Uh, the first time, first uh, year, I did uh, a standalone uh, software application using uh, Java AC. It was for uh, a library management uh, system. Uh, the software was a library management system built with uh, Java AC and uh, with uh, Swing, and uh, I used uh, MySQL for database. Uh, the second year uh, was a web project, uh, which I used uh, Vue.js as a front-end framework for JavaScript. Uh, I used uh, ES5 JavaScript and uh, for the back end, I used uh, servlets uh, with Hibernate, Hibernate framework for the database uh, with the uh, Java double E enterprise edition. And uh, the third year was the mobile project, which I, uh, in the, that one, I built uh, uh, an expense manager application uh, for Android uh, where you can uh, manage your daily financial transactions and uh, view uh, how your uh, expenditures and uh, income has been uh, Manage. Uh, I used uh, Android support design and uh, Firebase uh, for the data storage and uh, database. See. 
So, uh, what kind of support did you receive uh, from your friends and family? Uh, there was a, a great, a great uh, amount of support involved, uh, especially my friends uh, Sira Vijay Ratna uh, and Marky Blasinger. Uh, and uh, my family supported me throughout the entire uh, situation, uh, financially, and uh, and uh, they also encouraged me to pursue always uh, pursue new opportunities and uh, maintain uh, balance uh, the work and the education and life. So, what are your future ambitions, Sudhir? Uh, my ambition is to uh, establish myself as a veteran uh, mobile developer, especially in, uh, in cross-platform development. Uh, but I also plan on becoming uh, more embedded in the native Android as well. Uh, my whole goal in career as to uh, in my career is uh, to continue on as a mobile developer. I think uh, that's where my strengths lie. I, in terms of education, I also planning uh, to complete an MSc as well in the uh, near future, hopefully. And uh, I wish you all the very best and uh, hope that all your dreams will and goals will become a success. And uh, on behalf of the Institute, I'd like to congratulate you on graduating and uh, all the very best for your future. Thank you.